Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Caliquin.com. Today is day 10 of Calculatober, and the device I have today is this tiny keychain abacus. Now, I reviewed a keychain calculator yesterday, so I thought it would be kind of cool to review a keychain abacus. Uh, this I also found on eBay for pretty cheap. Um, so it's it's actually really, really strong. This thing's built of. Um, I'm guessing it's uh, iron. I I don't know. Let's see if this thing's magnetic. No. Nope. Oh, it's a little bit magnetic. Uh, yeah. So I get. Oh, actually, yeah. It's fairly magnetic. So yeah. Uh, I'm guessing this thing's made of iron or steel or something. Uh, it's got a pretty simple keychain thing here. And uh, it's actually a fully functional abacus, just incredibly tiny. Um, <laughs> okay, already I'm finding a very major flaw with this. So when I go to set it down to use, uh, here, let me bring the camera down so it's a little clear of what's going on. So, when I set this down, it... The, okay, maybe on this side it'll be better. Okay, so yeah, it works a little better on this side, but when I set it down on the other side, it was actually pressing against them, so it was I was unable to use it at the, on that side. But... Uh, I should be able to use it here, so let's do some basic calculations, I guess, uh, just to see how this thing feels. And do, uh, I don't know, 3 plus, jeez, 3 plus 5, that would be 8. Ah, it's so small, it's really hard not to not to move it when you press on something. I, I have to keep resetting it, and uh, unlike the sore band that I absolutely love, this doesn't have any kind of... <sighs> oh, this is awful. So this isn't something I could use by hand because uh, my hands shake a little bit, and I, I, this is unusable. Okay, let's see if I can just kind of... You have to be incredibly gentle so that you don't accidentally hit the wrong bead. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't have particularly fat fingers or anything, but even I... This sucks. This is bad. I, I cannot... I, I can already say, I, I don't recommend this. Um, I thought this would be something kind of neat, but I hate it. I truly, truly hate it. This is an awful, awful abacus. So to reset it, what you'd normally do with a regular abacus, you just lift it up and then set it, lay it down. Which here kind of works, but if you... If you don't gently press it or lay it down, it's just going to go all over the place. So yeah, I found this on eBay. Um, thought it'd be kind of neat. I mean, I guess it's more of a thing just for show. Uh, I don't, I don't know who wants to have an abacus on a keychain. I don't I don't know if there's really a market for that. I don't know of too many abacus fans who uh, would impress anyone by having this. It certainly doesn't impress me. I mean I thought it looked cool but I'm more interested in functionality than I am form. And in this case it's pure form. Functionally, this thing is worthless. 
So, yeah, I, I can't I can't recommend this to anybody. Uh, sorry, I can't really do any interesting things with it. I mean, it's just a piece of metal with some sliding beads on it. And I mean, they could have at least made it just a little bit wider, so that way there'd be more margin for error. But I mean, there's just there's none. Anyway, I didn't enjoy this review, but I hope you did. Uh, and if you did, cool. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.